would you attempt if you knew you could not fail? I love that quote by Robert H. Schuler. If you're somebody who struggles with perfectionism, like I have, it's a lifelong battle. What would we do if we weren't afraid of failure? I think of how many things that I have procrastinated in my life because I was afraid that I couldn't do them perfectly. Or after I did accomplish them and I gave my very best, then I looked and questioned and said it wasn't good enough. For those of us who struggle with perfectionism, we look like that duck that above water is gliding, all composed and relaxed, but underneath, we're paddling like crazy. That's the problem when you're a perfectionist. On the outside, you can appear a certain way, but inside, there can be a lot of inner turmoil going on. It's a very relevant struggle. The Birth Order book, written by Dr. Kevin Lehman, addresses this exactly. He has two chapters that talk about perfectionism. He thought it was a very concerning topic. And he talks about the psychological and the physical ramifications of dealing with perfectionism. First of all, we become very discouraged perfectionist and it creates a lot of stress. Then a lot of us have headaches or migraines or stomach problems, all different ways. It can be ulcers, colitis, many different things are attributed to stress and also perfectionism. And then there's all the psychological things that go on inside of our heads. So it's a real struggle and you're not alone. Abraham Lincoln, after he had given the Gettysburg Address, which was so famous, he said it was a flat failure. And the famous sculptor, painter, inventor, Leonardo da Vinci, remember him? He did The Last Supper and the Mona Lisa. He had this to say about his work. He said, I have offended God and mankind because my work didn't reach the quality it should have. So if you're struggling, you're not alone. So maybe you already know you're a perfectionist or you're still unsure. Kevin Lehman says that perfectionists tend to feel guilty much of the time. Also, they judge themselves by what others think of them and they tend to pile infractions one on top of another. Also, they would rather suffer than take steps to change things. So if that sounds like you, what do we do about it? Lehman gives us several great ideas to begin the journey on changing our thinking. One thing is to begin to expect less of ourselves and also to learn to bite off smaller chunks of life, not to set impossible goals that we can't achieve. They will set us up for failure. Also, to change our self-talk, just to say to ourselves, I did my best and that's good enough. Also, give ourselves permission to be imperfect and to become skilled at learning to say no. I can't say that I've completely conquered perfectionism, but I have made a lot of progress. And the older I get, I'm learning to like myself more and not to pursue the impossible goal of perfectionism, but just to strive for excellence and to know that that was my best. I've had to learn to be patient with myself and like Lehman says, be patient with ourselves and with others and to remind ourselves, God isn't finished with us yet. You're doing a great job. Keep it up and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.